So I've been training at Gold's or in the magazine since 1987. And I'll tell you, 30 and 40 year olds don't have that mindset. So, nice job. I, I, great job with your parents. Are you raising your I, man? I did a four last time every morning in the rain. I love that, man. You got your, your head on straight. You understand this. The show is nothing. That's like the starting point, and I always felt. All right, we're here in Gold's, the Mecca, having a quick little workout with Mike Ahern over there. He's very eloquently, gently moving those four plates in the Smith machine right now. I'm gonna go in there, probably do five plates, maybe for like twice as many reps as Mike, if I'm kind of feeling up to it. Depends if I feel like it or not. And yeah, I've just been Mike's mentor for the longest time. I kind of taught him everything he knows. And um, yeah, so let's just see what workout we do next. What you're gonna hate about him is because he's so good looking and stuff. He's got a body and tall. Uh, and great personality. Um, but you fully understand the idea of the explosion. Oh yeah, I love it. You love it. Um, and something I'm trying to teach people is that there's a difference. We can always go to explosion when we need that real big lift. Mm. But if you take explosion away and try to flex through something, your weight drops. Mm. Can't lift this. Oh, heavy. we can't have that, Mike. Ah, oh, no. Good. But the great thing about it, when it drops, then you start building up that foundation again, and you understand the two concepts. And that was still, when you go back to explosion, you build that up even more, and you're building more muscle from the start. I kind of like that. So you become like successful or competent in one area, you develop like one base, say, whether it be like strength and explosivity. It, the more you continue building that, the more likely you are to get injured because it's already like so high and so developed. But if you can go back to the drawing board and another foundation, grow that, and do that in a bunch of different areas, you're much more safer going about it that way. And your foundation is going to be overall just more rounded and just like better and stuff. With that being said, I'm going to still be explosive on this because I'm still yet to milk out my explosivity gains. Mike's milked out all 13 different types of gains and different things, but yeah. He's going to rock it now. It's pre workouts it's kicking in. Ah! Somebody said don't do pre workouts. Nobody from this crew. Pop the top two, weren't you? Yo, what's going on? After, our, after we're done, we need to go to like the posing room somewhere to get like a proper... Oh, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the kind of workout you're looking for. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I mean, after that workout, and after that, that one. The premium. Yeah, I mean, I mean if, we, if we go to my minivan, like right out to like park yeah, by right, lot, if we back, go down the alley and stuff. windows, yeah. Like, yeah I mean, right the windows there. are just black spray paint. They're not even tinted. But yeah, I mean, we can do something there. Yeah. Best video of the year right here, ladies and gentlemen. Tune in. Posing room. Reset at the bottom. He's pausing. He's letting it rest completely on the pins, but not only that, see the shoulders? You see the elbows go forward? It's a complete reset. That way he's re-engaging the chest. Yeah. I like it. You guys can even see it. Stop. There's not a big movement in everything. It's just a flex. Boom. Beautiful. Keep going. Keep going. Again. Pop the top. Nice. Ah, beautiful. That felt spectacular. You're gonna pay fire. Okay. Go. Nice. You wanna strip it to one? Yep. Yeah. Pull. Pull. Thanks, guys.
hit it, hit it, hit it. Leg drive 2.0, no one's heard of it yet. How was that? That was um, taxing, to say the least. And uh, good thing I have insurance because this mirror would have been shattered. But it's fine, and that leg drive counts. All right, so we just did some inclines, a um, little stop, press, push. Main thing for me was uh, just kind of show them options to uh, still keep that strength up. Um, if you guys are injured, have bad shoulders, you don't need to stay on the inclines. You can do it on the Smith machine, change it up. How'd that feel? It felt pretty good, but this is a lot more of what I'm semi-used to doing. Regular, traditional, good old incline with the dumbbells. It's a little bit more dangerous to the shoulder, I guess you could say, but we like living on the edge, so let's go live. Heck yeah. Then posing room, maybe. A couple different ways to do this. Um, you saw David do a great form for power. So chest up, head up legs, extreme power. As you keep going, you can start changing things around. Drop the chest a little bit. Bring the elbows in a little tighter. Just like you're almost on stage or you're posing, or in the posing room. Just kind of flex through it now. Depends on what kind of weight you use them. So again, small movements compared to the power. Take notes, take notes. Oh, he's got it. I'm taking some notes, but that's gonna require me to cut that 80 into a 40. Then I could do all this elegance, but you might risk fine, I'll do it, fine. <laughs> Almost like you've done this before. When did you start lifting? I mean, I was probably give or take like 12, 13, around there. Just started off with some body weight, calisthenics stuff at home. Then I got a gym membership and went all in from there. Done. What got you started? I mean, I was ridiculously skinny my entire life. Like most like guys before they had puberty, they're skinny anyway. But for me, I had such long arms, such long legs that I literally looked like fucking like Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. I was all like emaciated. So that was literally- You went there. I love it, I love it. I, love it. I was like, that's all the thing about all the time. Any room I could enter, everyone's thinking about how skinny and in inadequate I am. And that just made me feel like shit. So one day I just hit a boiling point. I couldn't stand it. Went home, went on YouTube type of chest workout. Was doing some Mike Chang six pack shortcuts, like push ups with like towels and stuff at home. And then, because I was like so skinny, within like a week or two, I could literally see the definition and veins and stuff. I was like, wow, this is great. Became addicted and then just went like kind of all up from there. That's awesome. Watch the back, watch the back.
I never see you listen to music when you train. I don't. Just the proper stoic. What's that about? The, the talk. Because uh, you've been in a fight. Have I been in a fight? No. When what? you're in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I try to be really tall and confident. I just hopefully you guess me not a fight. So I picked it up when I was young. Um, when you're in a fight, even though there's tons of people around you screaming and yelling, you hear nothing. You hear a muffle. Yeah. Um, it's very noisy, and, and, and all you hear is like this voice in your head. Uh, and when I get into my set, it's the same way. That's why I don't have these guys screaming for me. That's why I don't need the screams. I don't need the noise. Uh, it's just me in the head listening to that. The music and all that is a distraction of what's going on here. That's true. That's pretty stoic. I like that. But I don't know. I feel, but when you're going for a one rep max, though, there's something about just having that like adrenaline just rush from that music. Like, I, w I, w I would make an exception there, maybe. Just maybe. Just maybe. What maybe. else have you noticed about Mike that he's not doing when he trains? That he's not doing when he trains? That he's not doing when he trains. Yeah. Pulls in as much as Surge and Jazz no, and Pop no, the top. No. Exactly. No, no short sleeves. Yeah, no, oh yeah, sorry, no short sleeves. I don't see you all. No shorts. String it out. No shorts, right? No shorts. Yeah. Mm. No shorts. It's quite, it's quite humble. But when we go to the minivan, we'll oh, see. Yeah. We'll see what's going on. <laughs> see glue tie-ins. We're seeing. Uh... <laughs> all right. I got you. Ah! I'm gonna follow. You want some music? No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna channel. Set the number. There's no counting here. Just go. Seven, eight. Seven. That chest even better. So the stop sign or red light, it's just a suggestion. You suggestions. Know? All right, drop, no rest, come straight over. Let's go. Yeah, a little rest. Now, hands were on, sit. Hands up. Relax this now, keep it there. Don't pull me in, which everybody does. Elbows, stop. Now, here's the one thing everything he does today is with an arch. Drop the back, stay there, relax, drop your chest more, drop, no, 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 drop it, drop it. Now, now pull in. I think you got some heavy ass weight on here, I can't. Some Michael Hurt action, you need to lower that. Try it. Slow, there, stop. Go again, keep this flat, squeeze down, go. Oh, it feels nice. Nice. So we just change the form. Instead of that whole chest up and power, take the power away. More isolation now. Good. 
if we lower that a peg or two yeah. again, let's go. Ready, set, and go. Relax this, keep this here. Now close the eyes, visualize this. Visualize it. You're on stage, Phil Heath next to you. Obviously you're out angling him. Phil Heath ain't More striations. Thicker than Jay Cutler. Better glute tie-in with the hamster. Nice. Go. Nice. Pull him right here. Damn, this is one that you lived like three times in my head. That was great. Talk, talk to me, talk to me. I mean, I've never even seen a machine like that before. The modification variation we did on there, I couldn't even conceptualize, but I have a huge ass upper chest pump, so none of it matters. And then I just like milk the remaining blood in my chest on that machine right there. And I'm gonna do that a few more times. So you're loving it? Well, I'm loving it. Not loving it that much yet, because in the posing room, then I'm gonna be loving it. chest up. You guys just saw what I was doing there. I was arched over, pulling it out in front. And now what I'm going to do is cave back, drop. Not this, but this. Elbow slightly down, pull it all the way in. This will be the isolation here. Don't pull it up. Two, got the mindset of a champion already. 